This week's hometown hero hails from the Astoria section of Queens, New York, and his heroics have turned him into a real star right here in New York City. It all started when Erica Paul was on the subway on her way to work. Erica, we're so glad you're here. Please, tell us what happened. I was on my way to work, and I was sitting there in the, in the train, minding my own business, and I was punched in the face. I punched? Punched. I thought it was a punch. But what happened, he slashed me in my face. This guy, out of nowhere, yeah. came up and slashed you in the face? In the face, yeah. My head was bent, so I didn't see him. Okay. Yeah. And everybody started running and screaming. And this was a serious cut. How many stitches did you get? Twenty-five. Twenty-five stitches. Okay, this guy could have killed you. He's yeah. ready to kill you. And what happened? I ran out of the train to begging and asking somebody, can somebody help me? Right, and Anthony got into action. Anthony is our hometown hero. Yes, right? he is. What did Anthony do? Anthony, well, I didn't know what Anthony did until afterwards, <laughs> and he went. He was um, getting off the train because the guy ran off the train. He, uh, as the train stopped at the Atlantic Avenue, he was trying to escape, and Anthony stopped him from. On the other side. Tackled him. Yes. Took down this guy yes. who was loaded with knives. With knives. Now that's a real hero in my life. Right. I'm so proud of this guy. Please welcome this week's hometown hero, Anthony Gallo. Tell me, you see this poor lady run off the train. This guy has slashed her face, 25 stitches, he's got a bunch of knives, and you kicked into action. What happened? I'll tell you, it happened so fast. I, I happened to notice Erica get on the train. Like She was in her nurse's outfit, and uh, she sat down. She looked very tired. She had her head down. And just as we pulled into Atlantic Avenue... I, the doors had opened, I just happened to look that way, and I saw this guy walk up right in front of her, with his left hand, he kind of hit her in the side of the head, knocked her glasses off, and with his right hand, he had a, a steak knife, it looked like a little knife, you know, and he sliced her face, and just ran off the train. You saw all this happen? I saw all this happen. What do you think? No time to think. No, you no kicked right in. Think. Kicked right, right in. So I saw him run out the train door, I ran out the other door, I... Met him in the middle. Headed him off. Headed him off. What happened? I felt I had to daze him. He had a knife in each hand, actually. By that time, he'd gotten out he'd another gotten knife. Out another knife. Could have killed you. Could have. What'd you do to him? I hit him in the side of the head to daze him. Yeah. Immediately, I grabbed him. I love that. <laughs> <laughs> then what? Tell me more. Threw him down to the floor. Love I that. put my knee in his back to right hold him back. down. And Grabbed his arm, you know, to make sure he wouldn't cut me with the knife. Had the two knives. Right. Give him a couple kicks for me. Yeah, no, a couple. <laughs> Not only did you nail him and take him down, you held him till the cops came, right? Yeah. Boy, yeah. I'll tell you, you don't have a Superman a costume on under there, huh? You don't go around no, the, no, at, no. at night. You're not Spider-Man or anything like that, are you? No. You ought to be. I'll tell you what. I'm so proud of you. You, you really have demonstrated by putting your own life on the line, saving other lives that people can make a difference. You got involved, and you are our hometown hero of the week. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Anything you want to say to this guy? I want to say thank you to Anthony for coming to my rescue. He's been there for me all the time. I call him. We keep in touch. Oh, yeah. I think that's great. Yeah, we keep I in touch. That's great. Good job, buddy. All right, stay with us. We'll be right back.